and a glorious cultural heritage. It's believed to be the land of Kaushala, mother of Mariyada Purushottam Ramchandra. And the Tapohumi of Saint Poet Balmiki. It's gifted by nature with a green umbrella spread over almost 45% of the territory. In addition to rich deposits of minerals such as iron ore, aluminium, bauxite, tin, coal, even diamonds, the state is also blessed with mighty rivers. Mahanadi, Shona, Shon, Hauste, Indravati, etc. The de demographic canvas of Chhattisgarh presents a unique career scope from Sharguja to the north to Basta to the south. Almost 32 percent of its population is comprised of the tribals including some primitive tribes. It has been the center of attraction for anthropologists of various countries including the famous Harriar Alvin whom Mahatma Gandhi described as his fourth son. Alvin spent several fruitful years of his life in Basta and authored many important books on the life and culture of Basta tribal. In order to apply myself about this rich culture of this area, I shall have the privilege of visiting tomorrow to Naranpur, the gateway of Abuzma. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Chhattisgarh is the state where the famous Kalchari dynasty ruled for almost 800 years and left a rich legacy of one of the oldest Panchayati Raj system in the country. After its formation, Chhattisgarh has emerged as one of the fastest developing states in the country. This young state has registered all-round development on many fronts and made their presence felt at the national level. It is heartening to know that Chhattisgarh is attracting tourists from different parts. It has the beautiful waterfalls such as Chitrakot and <coughs> Tirthagar. It has also the ancient religious and spiritual centers of pilgrimage like Sivri Narayan, Rajiv Lochan, and Champaran, the birthplace of Mahaprabhu Vallabhacharya. I am informed that a 7th century AD Buddhist town seat has been unearthed in an archaeological excavation at Sirpu, which speaks of the rich cultural heritage of the state. Swami Vivekananda spent several years of his childhood in Raipur. The largest period of his life after Kolkata was spent in Raipur. <coughs> the great poet Rabindranath Tagore visited this place and spent quite some time in Pendra with his wife. While waiting for a train at the Vilaspur station, Ramindranath composed a beautiful poem mentioning the name of the station, the wife of a railway porter, Rukmini, whose life story was beautifully 
depicted by the poem, poet in this poem, Palataka. Mahatma Gandhi visited Chhattisgarh thrice <coughs> during the freedom struggle and had amply acknowledged the contribution of the national freedom struggle this country, this state has produced. I salute the great freedom fighters of this land and take this opportunity to pay our respectful homage to them. Chhattisgarh has large number of followers of two great saints, namely Sant Kavi and Guru Baba Ghashidas, who have enlightened us with the profound spiritual wisdom, Kavir Chowda, on the foothills of Amarkanta is believed to be the meeting place of Guru Nanak and Sant Kavi. Chhattisgarh is thus not only located at the heart of the geographical the locations, but also embodies the best of Indian culture, heritage and traditions as well as its natural beauty. I take this opportunity to congratulate all the prominent persons from different walks of life who have been felicitated for their important contributions in their respective fields. It shows that talent is abundant in Chhattisgarh, which reflects its vibrant and dynamic society. I take this opportunity of congratulating the state government for honoring these distinguished sons and daughters of this beautiful land for their contribution. Their contribution is not merely limited to the geographical limit of the territory of Chhattisgarh, but it has enriched our larger society, Indian society as a whole, and there is need of this recognition. I am delighted to know that the Noya Raipur is the first planned capital of 21st century in India and is being developed as a modern and great city. Special features of such as rainwater harvesting, harvesting of the solar energy, which has been included to make it eco-friendly. Comfort and security to the citizens is being ensured through dedicated bus lanes, cycle tracks, pedestrian pathways and barrier-free movement. A bus rapid transit system is also being developed from the initial stage to provide green and clear public transport system. I compliment the leadership of the state for developing the city of Raipur with vision and a commitment to sustain the urban development. Once again, I congratulate the people of the state on the occasion of the Rajatsa and dedicate the new mantra alloy building to the service of the people of this beautiful land. I hope that Chhattisgarh will continue to live up to the expectations of the nations and march ahead by attending to the needs of all sections of its people, especially the marginalized, poor and deprived sections of the society. I take this opportunity, particularly in this festive season, and impending and coming Diwali, let me conclude by wishing each and every one of you a very happy Diwali. May this state and all of you, each and every individual citizen of this beautiful land be blessed with peace, prosperity and happiness. Light of the Bavali, remove the darkness, 
of ignorance, prejudice, and enlightened the life of a enlightened Chhattisgarh, enlightened India. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for giving me this opportunity. Jai Hind. श्रीवादन कलाकार हैं अताउल्लाह खान और साथी इसके बाद पीपीएस के छात्र छात्राओं द्वारा